Hello, my name is Aline Alves. I'm a, an assistant professor at University of Brasilia Physical Therapy School. And the title of my presentation is Parasacral Transcutaneous Electrical Stimulation in Overactive Bladder in Older Women, a Randomized and Controlled Clinical Trial. This, uh, the affiliations to disclose. The study aims to evaluate the effects of PTES on voiding habits and quality of life in older women with overactive bladder. The instruments for evaluating voiding habits and quality of life were a voiding diary of three days, ICIQ OEB, and ICIQ SF. Uh, we assessed for eligibility 75 older women. 37 were excluded, and we randomized 38 older women. 19 were allocated to a control group, that was G1, and 19 were allocated to intervention group, that was uh, G2. We had one dropout in each group, uh, and to preserve the randomization, we analyzed 19 in G1 and 19 in G2. The G1 participants received behavior therapy, that was our control group, uh, through an education lecture on voiding habits held in two meetings once a week, lasting approximately 15 minutes each. Uh, G2 received behavior therapy associated with uh, PTES, which was carried out in eight sessions, twice a week, less than 30 minutes each, and with an interval of 24 hours between sessions. The equipment that we used was DualPex 961, that was uh, Brazilian equipment, uh, and the parameters were was 10 Hz of frequency, 700 micros microseconds of white pulse, 30 minutes of time, twice a week. In total, we had eight sessions. OK, I'm going to split this table. Uh, the first part of the table one was the comparison between quality of life before and after the intervention, that was the comparison intergroups, and we have also the intergroup group comparison. No significant difference was found for all the dependent variables in pretreatment, showing us that the groups are also comparable for these variables. Uh, there was clinical improvement in both groups in the quality of life measured by ICIQ OEB. Scores. However, there was a reduction in the degree of uh, some symptoms, uh, especially the bother symptoms. That was the frequency, urge incontinence, and urgency only in G2. Regarding uh, urination habits, clinical improvement was observed only for nocturia in G2, that was the intervention group. And for the ICS, uh, ICIQSF, uh, both groups got better. Table 2 shows us the comparison intergroup, and there was no significant difference between groups for any of the variables. In conclusion, PTES associated or not to behavior therapy improved voiding habits and quality of life. The association between these two treatments in the sample study showed a clinical improvement superior only to the degree of discomfort of the symptoms, frequency, urge incontinence, and urgency. In the intergroup comparison, there was no significant difference for any of the variables studied. Thank you.